Hi everyone, in this video we're going to minimize the following function, f of xy is equal to x squared minus 10x plus y squared minus 14y plus 28. Subject the following constraint, x plus y equal to 8. So we're going to minimize this function according to this constraint, x plus y equals 8. To do that, we're going to use something called Lagrange multipliers. So in the method of Lagrange mul multipliers, you solve uh, some, some equations. So the first equation is that the gradient of f is equal to lambda times the gradient of g. And the second equation is that g of xy is equal to a constant. So in this problem, g of xy is the x plus y. And the constant is the c. OK, so all we have to do is solve these equations for x and y. Once we get x and y, we plug them back into our function, and then we have our minimum. So recall the gradient of a function is the vector whose components are the first partial derivatives. So the first partial derivative of f with respect to x is the first component and the partial derivative of f with respect to y is the second component. Likewise here we have lambda, and then we have g sub x, and then g sub y. Okay, so let's go ahead and work this out. So f sub x, well when we take the partial with respect to x, um, everything is constant, constant except x. So the derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of negative 10x is negative 10 everything else is going to be zero. And when we compute the partial derivative of f with respect to y, all of the x's go away. So the derivative of y squared is 2y, and the derivative of negative 14y is negative 14. Everything else is zero because it's constant. This is equal to lambda. See, g sub x, that's simply going to be 1. The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of y is 0, so we won't bother to write it. And g sub y, well, in this case, the derivative of x is 0, and the derivative of y is 1. We can now multiply the lambda through. So this is going to be lambda, lambda. All right, so now all we do is we set lambda equal to each of these, right? Because these vectors are equal, so lambda is equal to both pieces. So lambda is 2x minus 10. At the same time, lambda is 2y minus 14. But both of these expressions are equal to lambda, or rather, these equations uh, are equal to lambda. So what we have is that 2x minus 10 equals 2y minus 14. Right? So we have 2x minus 10 equal to lambda. We have this expression here equal to lambda. So therefore, they must be equal. Um, I guess at this point, uh, what can we do? Maybe uh, add the 4 to both, add the 10 to both sides. So plus 10 plus 10, that might be good. So that would give us, uh, let's see, 2x equals 2y minus 14. And, uh, minus, uh, sorry, minus 4. And maybe now what we can do uh, is divide by 2. So it would be x equals y minus 2. So if x equals y minus 2. So we've kind of reached a uh, sticking point. We're a little bit stuck. So now what you do is you typically go to your constraint. So our constraint was x plus y equals 8. It's right up here. Here's our constraint. So x is y minus 2 plus y, which is y, and that's equal to 8. So just replace x with y minus 2. Right? It seems to be a decent idea. So then we have 2y minus 2 equals 8. Adding 2 gives us 2y equals 10. And then dividing by 2 will give us y equals 5. So we have y. So y is 5. We plug it back in here. And we get x plus 5 equals 8. So x is 3. So a little bit of algebra. It's kind of fun. Um, you just got to uh, be careful and do it right. Now that we have our x and y, we're pretty much done. All we do now is we plug them back into our original function. So I'll go ahead and do that. So we have f of 3 comma 5. This will be 3 squared minus 10 times 3 plus, and then y was 5, so 5 squared minus 14 times 5 
plus 28. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, type this into my uh, calculator uh, to make sure we get a nice answer. 9 minus 30 plus 25 minus 14 times 5 plus 28. I got negative 38, which is the correct answer. So negative 38. So that is the minimum. That's it. I hope this video uh, has been helpful.